What's up, world? I am TJ, and this is Native Res Media, your place for opinionated tech news, reviews, and entertainment. And today, things look a little bit different behind me because I have a projector screen set up. We'll be taking a look at the Elephaz A1 projector here. I'll be going over what comes in the box. I'll be going over the tech specs, look and feel, uh, walking you guys through how to get this thing set up and going through some of the menu. Uh, I won't go too much in depth because we will be here all day because it does have a decent amount of features, but I'll go over the surface level features and show you guys some of the images and some of the video that I've captured uh, coming out of this projector. So without further ado, let's just jump right into this review. First things first, we're gonna jump right into the box here. So you got some nice branding here, Elephaz mini projector. And this is on the back, it's the A1 model, 50 to 60 Hertz, 24 Watts, so on and so forth. We're gonna get this open. It's a slide out box. Yeah, come on, there we go. Slide it off to the side. You have a nice carrying case for the mini projector. And as you see, the carrying case itself is the size of most standard size projectors. So you know the projector that's on the inside of this is small. Looking at the case here, it is nice and sturdy. Nice semi hard shell case. You have a handle on the top, has some rubber gripping and the dual zipper, uh, zipper on the side here. So let's get this opened up. And opening it up, you have some foam here. I'm gonna slide it off. And you have at the top here in the netting, a quick start guide and a actual user manual. Quick start guide is colored along with the user, usual, user, user manual. Uh, and uh, yeah, it just basically shows you how to get it set up. Pretty simple pretty quickly and get you on the move there. So I'm gonna slide those back in there. Uh, then you have the projector itself, nice and small, not big at all. I'm gonna compare this to my a phone over here. So if I take a phone, you can see not that much bigger than a phone. I'm sure this will fit into your pocket if you had a big enough pocket. Uh, you have a remote for the projector, fairly simple there. Uh, I'll kind of walk you through that a little bit later. You have uh, a charging block here, and I think this is a 20 watt, yeah, 20 watt max charging block. So that's what uh, you can use to run this while looking at videos, things like that. Uh, you have a USB C to C cable that comes from the charging block, goes into the projector itself. It also comes with a stand, as long, uh, also uh, along with on the bottom of this, it has a flip out stand. So if you just ha are setting this on the desk, it does have a flip out stand. So I'll go over that a little bit later. But uh, this is one of those nice little tripod stands. Very inexpensive, but uh, nice to have when you're on the go and you don't want to sit it down in the dirt or anywhere if you're out camping. And then you have an HDMI cable. So that is pretty much it. That's what comes in the box. Uh, fairly simple. We're going to jump into the tech specs real quick. This A1 projector is a 1080p projector. It has 160 ANSI lumens, so nothing major. Uh, you wanna keep this in a dim environment. It does show up when the br lights are a little bit bright, but you can't see it that good. It's gonna do much better when you are in a dim, slightly lit environment. This projector will project up to 150 inches, but it is recommended to stay below 100 inches on this projector. Uh, this screen behind me is about 90 inches diagonal, and this is plenty big. So if you're inside your home or out camping, 90, 100 inches, that's plenty big. You don't need anything bigger than that. That's what she said. This supports 2.4 or 5G, wireless connection to your Wi-Fi uh, for mirror casting, things like that. Uh, now, one thing to note, if you are going to be using mirror casting, it will not cast Netflix over the network to here because of the uh, encryption protocol, DHCP protocol, things like that. It'll block it. So you'll hear the audio, but you will not see the video. So you will have to uh, either direct connect your laptop or your device directly into this, into the HDMI port in order to see the video if that's something that you want to do or you can just put your movies on a USB uh, plug and just plug it into the back here and we'll go over the ports here in a second. This is a DLP projector that has auto keystone so plus or minus 40 degrees or so uh, 
So if uh, you are projecting this to the wall and you want that flat screen, uh, if you tilt this up a little bit and it's projected, it will automatically correct itself to show a flat screen on the wall so you don't have to go into the projector itself and make that adjustment. And last but not least, this does have a 7,000 milliamp hour battery inbuilt so you don't have to have it plugged up all the time this will last you two to two and a half hours depending on what you're watching so you can get through a movie without any problems uh good luck getting through the new avatar movie because i think that's over three hours long so you might not make it through that with this but most movies one and a half to two hours long you should be just fine and we're going to go over the look and feel of this projector it's mostly made of plastic but it is nice and sturdy uh, i don't see this thing breaking or going anywhere you probably can drop it a couple times it should be fine i thought it was metal at first but uh after further investigation it seems to be mostly made of plastic so making our way to the back here you have your usb port it's just your standard usb a port you have an infrared port uh, so that you can use a remote when you are facing this from the rear you also have your type c port for charging you have an hdmi port uh, that supports up to your 60 hertz there uh, obviously you can input probably up to 120 hertz things like that but this will only output 60 hertz because that is what it is rated for then you have your headphone jack there Making our way to the front, you have an infrared port as well so that you can control this from the front of the projector if you are doing some kind of um, meeting in an office real quick, pop up your uh, projector screen and you get to uh, going through your slideshows there. Then you have your lens, of course, and then on the right side of the projector, you have your focus wheel here so that's how you adjust your focus on the left side there's nothing and then you have a couple uh exhaust vents on both sides because this does have a fan on the inside of it the fan you can't hear it it is audible does it get super loud no i'll show a sample here Something else to note, this projector does have an inbuilt speaker. Don't lean on this speaker for some kind of marvelous sound. You want to hook this up to a Bluetooth headphone set or a Bluetooth speaker to get a little bit more bass. But if you need some speaker sounds in a pinch, this will get it done. Making our way to the top here, we have uh, your four directional controller here, your OK button for selecting through the menu and things like that. You have a back button, you have a menu button, you have your on and off button, and then you have a LED above the top of that to let you know that it is on. And also the picture coming out the screen and the lens should tell you that as well. And making our way to the bottom, you have a couple long rubber feet here. You have your quarter 20 port and you have a flip out mechanism so that you can mount this on a table or mount it or just sit it on a table so that it will have a tilt so you can project it onto the screen. And that's about it when it comes to the look and feel of this projector. We're just going to jump right into getting this thing set up. I'm going to project something on the screen here, go through some of the menus and things like that and we'll go from there. All right, I got the projector set up, dim the lights a little bit. We are about six feet away from that projector screen there and it's projecting a 50 to 55 inch picture onto that screen. If I move the things back another, what, uh, five, six feet, I'd probably take up the full 90 inches that I have on my projector screen. This projector screen is not an expensive screen. It's only what? 40, 50 bucks for one of these projector screens. You can get a better picture if you want to spend another 100 bucks on a screen, but I'm not up for that. Most people will probably just get one of these $40 screens from Amazon and keep it moving. Now, I'm going to walk you through setting this thing up and go through some of the menu settings, of course. Uh, as you can see, this is the menu that you're greeted with when you turn the projector on. Up at the top right there, you can see the battery uh amount it's not a percentage but it shows that it's fully not fully charged but mostly fully charged there you got your usb 2.0 port there and it is plugged in uh, if i hit setup i go into my picture settings and things like that picture mode brightness aspect ratio keystone projection mode image scale uh, i can set up the wi-fi the bluetooth so uh, if i have bluetooth headphones or a bluetooth speaker i can connect it directly to this and get better sound and what's going to come out the projector itself i can upgrade it and do a factory uh reset and upgrade the language so let's go back and then we're going to go back into setup here picture mode uh you have some standard settings vivid standard 
soft things like that and in user where you can go in and adjust the contrast and things of that nature i'll just go to vivid hey, keep it there for now uh brightness i think i have it uh on the highest yeah so you have normal which it dims it a little bit and then you have highlight which kind of gives it a little bit more brightness that's where i keep it especially when you are using something that only has 160 a and si the anti lumens there you want you want to make it bright uh, aspect ratio so you have auto 4369 69 is what most movies are uh, shown in and 43 is for your uh, if you're doing like a I would say your slideshows and things like that pictures showing pictures that's good for 43 and some old movies but uh, most modern day movies are going to be uh, your 16 by 9 there uh, keystone you can adjust the keystone auto is on or you can turn it off and then manually adjust the keystone i keep it on auto it works just fine as you can see i didn't adjust the keystone it projects a flat picture there and then you got your projection mode which you can have front projection rear projection ceiling projection or rear ceiling projection. So front projection, that's what I'm on now. Rear projection, if this projector, it was behind that screen and I wanted to see the image, it would flip everything around so that I can see it the way that I'm supposed to be looking at a rear projection uh, image. Uh, ceiling projection, if you wanna to project to a ceiling, story night, things like that, project a movie or whatever on your ceiling. If you're laying down in bed with the wifey, you can do that as well. Uh, see, you can see me switching around and then it's moving things around there. And then you have your rear ceiling projection. Uh, that is for, I would say, if you're going to be projecting through something, like if you're on the ceiling and you're going through the ceiling to the top and you're going down, or if you're going to be drawing something. So you can mount it on like an overhang boom or something. I think it's on the website. You can kind of see it and it can reverse the image and you can then go in and trace things and do. So it does have all those extra features when it comes to the uh, projection mode. Then you have your image scale, uh, 100%. I don't know why you wouldn't want it to be 100%, uh, but if you are doing uh, tra like tracing an image or something like that you can scale that image down so that it fits on your paper a little bit better depending on how high or low you are from the uh, piece of poster board or paper that you're going to be tracing so a uh, cool little feature there and of course your wi-fi bluetooth connection it's self-explanatory you click on wi-fi it's going to pull up all your wi-fi connection you connect to it type in your uh uh, connection mode there and then you go from there so it's going to scan my Wi-Fi and then I can connect to whatever Wi-Fi is in the area here so simple as that there we go t3 beats that's me I can connect to it which mine is already connected to the uh, 5g network in my house here so cool I'm back here Bluetooth same thing it'll search for any kind of Bluetooth speakers phones things like that I don't have anything turned on, so I'm not going to worry about it. And then back on to the home screen here. I have a USB thumb drive plugged in here. And if I wanted to play a movie, I can just go on here. It'll pull up the C drive. I can go to John Wick, hit play, and it'll start loading up the movie. I think this is an MP4. Uh, so uh, it supports most uh, formats and things like that, most codecs without any issues. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play this movie. I'm gonna get it a little bit quiet. I'm gonna play a little bit so that I don't uh, get any copyright strikes or anything like that. So that you okay. Again, I don't wanna play too much of that movie so that I don't get any uh, copyright strikes. But uh, coming through the menu here, as you can see, you got play, pause, forward, reverse, fast forward. If you hit fast forward, it'll fast forward. Uh, in increment, so you can just hit fast forward there and it'll just go, you can see it at the top going uh, two times, four times, eight times, 16, 32, so on and so forth. Or if I wanna go to a specific place, I just click over to the right and then I can go over to go to time, click on that and I can just type in the time that I wanna go to so that I don't have to skip through the movie that way. Uh, while you're in here, there's other settings, deeper um, things like uh, messing with the subtitles. I'm not going to go through that now because, again, we'd be here all day, but you can adjust all that in the uh, settings there. So we're going to back out of here. Then we're going to go here. If I had photos on the thumb drives, click that. It'll pull up all my photos, JP JPEGs, things like that. Same as music, text. If I'm going through a slideshow, if I want to read something off, if I'm a copper and i want to show uh my evidence when in a courtroom 
something, you know, if you're a businessman, things like that. So now we're going to come over here to HDMI. So I don't have HDMI hooked up, but if I did, I uh, had my laptop. I would hook it up HDMI and project my laptop screen directly to this projector. And you can do the same for your consoles. If you're going to a friend's house, they don't have a big TV, things like that. Take this little projector, hook up your console. Both of you get to jamming and you can play this on a wall. And last but not least, you have your screencast here. If I click on that, it'll bring up my screencast menu. So you have your iOS cast, your cable cast. So if you have an iPhone, you can di directly connect it into the iPhone, cast it to the projector that way. Your iOS cast, where you're casting your, uh, mirroring your iOS screen from your phone, mirror cast, window cast, DLNA, and your cast settings. DL DLNA is if you have a server at home and you wanna play movies directly from the server, and you're connected to your Wi-Fi, you should be able to stream the movies directly to this using that DLNA uh, capable server. Windowcast, same thing, you go to your Windows computer uh, and you should be able to cast to this projector using the cast features that are built into Windows. Uh, Miracast, I will show you that real quick. This is something that uh, I've used on this projector. So you click on Miracast, let me get my phone and then I'm gonna get things pulled up here. And now I got my phone in hand, gonna show you how to set up the Miracast so if I click on Miracast, it brings up a menu here. You can see how to set it up down at the bottom. You can see the instructions on the Android mobile phone. Open the settings menu, access display settings or screen mirroring. So I just pull my shade down. I can see it says cast there. I hit cast on my phone and it'll say waiting for connection. And on my phone, I can see Rotocast here. So let's pull this up so you can see at the top there, it does say Rotocast. If I click on that, it'll say connecting. So you can see it's spinning on the side there. It's going to connect. And as you see on the screen, it should pull it up. Simple as that. You want to make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network, by the way. And by, and at first, I don't even think I had to even connect to Wi-Fi. I just start mirroring it, it and it picked it up uh, directly from my phone. So. That's something to note. Now, I can scroll through here, pull up YouTube, and see all videos here. I can scroll up and down. Let's see, let's just click on something here. Try not to get copywritten trick. So, uh, boom, if I click on this video and like I want it to be day, big, click that, boom. The and you when can see the full screen. Easy peasy. First, and if I go back but he was quite and wrong. I can click out of here and he simple as that. So that's how you do the mirror cast. Let me go back. And that's fairly it. So you can watch your movies. You can adjust your parameters, things like that. It has a great picture. And from now, I'm just gonna go back over to my desk and continue to talk about this and conclude this video. All right, and what do you guys think about the picture? Not bad at all. Hooking this thing up is a breeze. Connect your laptop directly to the back here into the HDMI if you want to go that route. Or as I've shown, you can mirror cast directly from your phone. You can throw a whole bunch of movies on a USB thumb drive, take it outside to your backyard, have a movie night with your family, go camping, things like that without any issues. And that's all coming from this palm size projector. Now, again, if you're gonna be watching Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, any kind of thing that's gonna be using that encryption, you're going to want to connect it directly into your laptop or directly from your phone or whatever if it has video out because it will not mirror cast those shows or those movies from your phone over the Wi-Fi network because it has that encryption. And the pricing on this projector right now is $238.99. Not bad for a small little projector uh, that you can take into the boardroom, take camping, have family, movie night, things like that. There is a $40 coupon as of today, so you can get this for just under $199 there. So not bad, and it gets the job done. So. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please comment down below. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want me to go over anything else on this projector, if you're curious about anything, please ask away, comment down below, and I can do a follow-up video if needed. Thank you guys again. Peace out.